Family Collection, YouTube version part two. We'll continue on with this thing. The 1994 Saturn SC2 or SL2, excuse me. It obviously it's white. Perfect. It was garage kept for 15 years before we got this, and it's an automatic. It's got a performance package on it. It's one of three damned options on this car. Spoiler, automatic, performance package, all that. Up until recently, I thought that the performance package was a standard thing, or a standard option. I guess not. It's, it's kind of dirty on the front because we don't have her on the highway. See, there's gravel and dirt and stuff. Um, I only got 99. Let's look at it. No, I'm not going to be a lazy fuck right now. 99,254 miles on it. Got a custom stereo. It's not my car. It might as well be good. Because I love it for this way. It's got custom stereo. A camera is about $320 in stereo. Um, it even came, uh, came with touch of paint. Better demo, which is cool, but useless to get the dries on wrong. Um, no, there's nothing up here. Let's look at the back seat. I've got it in case. Before we had this, we had a 1994 Saturn, same year Saturn FC2, had plenty of options. Got to unlock it. Like it had power windows, power door lock. Leather wrapped steering wheel cruise control, which is not standard. I don't care what anybody says. Um, let's get this out of here. Trash. Oh, there's a Pepsi. It's pretty clean back here. I think there's nobody's ever back here. I don't know how that stain got there. Um, really, it's just been there forever. Um, this car will comfortable. It might, yeah, it'll seat five people, barely. Um, one thing that really annoys the one black mark I have against this car, I don't know if you can tell, but you look at this where the window bends over right there. Or, excuse me, I'll get farther back so you can see where it bends over right here. It kind of distorts the image, so if people will try to. God damn it. Um, ignore that. Had a blonde moment. You can't really see it, so if you're like a certain height, you're pretty much fucked. <laughs> Let me turn this up. Let's see. Get the trunk open. Um, you can walk around. It's got very good leg room in the front. Not so much in the back if, you're got, if you've got a tall driver. Like me, I'm 6'2. So it's pretty much hell for people that have got to sit in the back seat. I haven't cleaned it out. I haven't done it in weeks. Before we go on the trunk, I want you to read this. It's got a very good weight, I mean, weight distribution. I mean, maybe, say, 40 or 50 pounds over each way, which is very good. Oh, spoiler. I live in Kentucky. It's in Kentucky. I mentioned that in the first part, of the, video, the first video, part one, but we have four tags. I haven't gotten them changed over yet. It has a 10 inch Memphis sub subwoofer, very good, and a 300 watt Memphis amp, which is screwed into the back of the seat because it's fucked hard to install it. Just did it that way for some god, uh, god awful reason. Purple funnel, automatic transmission fluid, grocery bag, yay! I'm not kidding. Got the stock stereo, uh, which is actually very, extremely. It's very good. The sound quality with that thing is great. I was very surprised. Uh, it wasn't... That thing didn't last 10 minutes being installed in Cora before we got rid of it. I got it and installed it and put the badass pioneer in. Okay. I suck at video editing, so I'm just going to walk all the way over here to this instead of just cut and pasting like David Roth does. It rocks us. Yeah, I don't care. Hey, about that. It's got, a, it's got the 
visual package, I think. Oops. I don't know if you can see really it. Let me get closer. You can really tell. It's got a ground effects. I mean, it looks kind of like a lip. Like on the Mach 1 Mustangs and such. But it's, I never noticed this before. With this map. I know what it does, but it's like it was on my mom's old Camaro, too. Plus, you see the rock sitting, you know, the scrape. The ground stuff. So, I'm hyper tired at the same time. This is fucking weird, so. This is a 19. We'll talk about what's in the garage first. And this, in the left, in the tall garage, tall garage there's an old Civic in there, like a 79 Civic, I think. And I think we bought it new, I'm not sure. Or my mother bought it new, it was her old car. Uh, she tried to kill my father, she tried to hit my father with it once and crumped the front end. About halfway into it. And this one is a 1978 Must Ford Mustang. Oh, if you don't know it's Ford. Stupid. It's got a four cylinder in it though that you that buys the generation of Mustang. The Mustang 2's never come four cylinders as far as I know. But it's got an automatic. For some reason it does have a four cylinder because some asshole put it in there. Because he's stupid. Uh, it's, a ha it's the hatchback version. It's red. And the only option is automatic as far as I know. Here, here we go. Yes. This is a, also a 78 Mustang. It's a Mustang 2. It's a notchback. Uh, my grandmother did that if she can't drive. Um, it's a gear model. Which means it's got leather and stuff. Wood, fake wood trim. Faux wood trim. And this is also victim to her pack rat waves. Or her shit. Um, you can tell when you poke at it. Late fuels has got leather in it. You can tell that way. Um, the headliner's falling down. Worst that I've ever seen in any car. Steering is locked and there's no engine in it. Honestly, I could have never... Anybody that knows anything, knows a lot about cars, and could tell just from the way the front ends up and stuff. I mean, like, higher than the back. Like, way higher. So you should never lower your shot. You should never cut your... Put lowering springs on a car while the engine's not in it. Because... You will fuck up bad. Because you will not need like a middle to tell how low it's going to sit when the engine's in. Uh, this is all, this is 1988, not 1978, I was going to say. Uh, it's more than halfway through the model year. Which means it's got the LM3 instead of the LT3. And the LM3 has 15 more horsepower and 15 more pounds to the tour. Um, it's in bad need of paint. And it also keeps shorting out the control module. I don't understand why, but it's going to have any thousand miles on it. On it. And after that, at that point, who fucking knows can go along with it? And come on, it's an old bit. I don't know what that was. This is also, this is not even my grandmother's car on her bit. Um, she packed her shit into it. God knows it's back here. There's not a car, I know that. Um, draw the pink horse than I thought. <laughs> okay. Yeah, pretty bad. Seat's pretty good though. He was kind of okay. Here's a three-legged puppy. It's old bastard. Fellas, yeah, show me third leg. Come on. Yeah. yeah, see, he walks on three legs and the other one's just dangling there. Okay. Let's see if I can make it up to the other glass car before the time runs out on this. Um, a few cars I can't show you in the video right now. The 1978 Dodge Magnum XE. Very nice car. Again, power windows. A CB radio. And it had a 360 cubic inch V8. Oh, um, about 300 horsepower. One thing this car that really sucked about this car was the transmission because it went through four of them because if it could never handle the torque to put out. How do you Check back to part three. We'll do that one and we'll do a few others. Thank you for watching and check out the video for part three and part.